all righty so let's tackle some more practice tests we'll first mark the keyword always please mark the keyword because a keyword helps us understand what the question is looking for and we can pinpoint easily which option is the correct option so let's begin we'll look at uh, first option b option b says azure virtual machine with sql server using azure virtual machine with sql server will increase administrative overhead as it's not fully managed we know as a vm with sql server requires manual intervention which is not fully managed right so definitely this will increase administrative overhead that being said option b is out don't just pass your id certification instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively for diamond members and above Become a member now by clicking the join button to unlock this perk. Then connect and inbox me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique so that I can help you out with the PDF and hands-on files access which you can practice which will help you to broaden your practical knowledge related to IT industry as Azure Data Administrator. Also, please consider checking out my exclusive management and cyber security courses on udemy by either searching cloud guru amit on udemy or you can also enter the url as udemy.com slash user slash cloud guru amit where uh, you will be notif seeing all the courses designed by me which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager their thought processes and the latest courses like generative ai which is very high in demand let's look at option c c says azure cosmos db cosmos db is not a relational database which is required by the question so let's remove it we'll move to d d says azure synapse analytics synapse analytics is used for big data and analytics processing right because it is a data warehouse solution somewhat and um, synapse analytics cannot be uh, like it's not suitable for um, a relational uh, databases right there's a difference between olap and oltp if you are able to relate you might be uh, you, uh, you might be knowing what i'm uh, actually trying to say right so uh, synapse analytics is kind of a uh, uh, rocket we don't need rocket we need a car to travel to our office right so uh, synapse is uh, like overkill for it let's remove it if we'll lock option a azure sql database as the right choice okay so this question will test your concepts on transparent data encryption known as tde with respect to azure sql database we'll first look at option a is to secure data during transfer between systems Encryption of data in transit is uh, handled by protocols like TLS, not by transparent data encryption. So we'll remove it. We'll move to B. Option B says to encrypt data at rest. Transparent data encryption is uh, primarily used to protect data stored in database files, uh, that is data at uh, rest, by encrypting them. Let's park this. We'll move to C. C says to enforce access permissions based on user roles. Access permissions has nothing to do with transparent data encryption. This option is just a distractor. We'll move to D. This is to ensure safe communication through network protocols. Network protocols is ensured through encryption and other network level measures, not by transparent data encryption. Let's reject it. We'll lock option b as the right choice all right now so here we go with a, a question which is about um, database uh, performance monitoring how can we identify potential performance issues and uh, look at it like which azure tool should we use let's move to option a this is azure monitor azure monitor is uh, the correct tool to monitor the performance of azure database looks good we'll uh, keep it We'll move to B. B says Microsoft Security Center. Azure Security Center uh, focuses on uh, security management and threat protection, not uh, performance monitoring, what we need as per the question. So B is out. Let's move to option C. 
सी इज एजर डेवॉप्स एजर डेवॉप्स इज मेंट फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड डेप्लॉयमेंट वर्क फ्लोज लाइक सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन्स एंड ऑल नॉट फॉर अगेन मॉनिटरिंग डेटा बेस परफॉर्मेंस लेट्स रिमूव इट विल मूव टू डी दिस इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्रा आई डी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्रा आई डी हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ डेटा बेस परफॉर्मेंस मॉनिटरिंग अगेन लेट्स डिलीट इट विल लॉक ऑप्शन ई एज योर मॉनिटर एज यू राइट चॉइस लेट्स प्रोइंग द हेट ऑफ द स्नो वी गॉड एक्शन रिलेटेड टू क्वरीज विच नीड्स टू रन ऑप्टिमली एंड अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग एंड वी हैव एज सीक्वल डेटा बेस ईयर लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन ए बी एंड सी टूगेदर ई सी एस क्वरी स्टोर पी सी एस सीक्वल प्रोफाइलर सी सी एस डेटा बेस ट्यूनिंग एडवाइजर सो ऑल दिस थ्री कैनॉट ऑटोमेटिकली ट्यून डी डेटा बेस विच इज़ वन ऑफ द प्राइमरी रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लाइक परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग एंड ट्यूनिंग रिकमेंडेशन राइट सो विल रिजेक्टेड लेट्स कन्फर्म इन द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इट्स मैंशन ऑटोमेटिक ट्यूनिंग इज अ फुल्ली मैनेज इंटेलिजेंट परफॉर्मेंस सर्विस दैट कंटिन्यूसली मॉनिटर्स क्वरीज एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन ए डेटा बेस एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इम्प्रूव्स परफॉर्मेंस इट इज अचीव थ्रू डायनेमिकली अडेप्टिंग ए डेटा बेस टू चेंजिंग वर्कलोड्स एंड अप्लाइंग ट्यूनिंग रिकमेंडेशन सो दैट्स वॉट वी रिक्वायर लेट्स लॉक डी ऑटोमेटिक ट्यूनिंग एज द राइट चॉइस आल राइट आल राइट लेट्स टैकल ए क्वेश्चन विच इज अबाउट ऑटोमेशन दिस टाइम इंक्लूडिंग which includes azure sql database deployment process as well and management let's first look at option a it is azure automation azure automation is designed to automate the deployment and management of azure resources including azure sql database what we need as per the question let's keep it and move to b b c is azure data factory known as adf uh, which is uh, uh, primarily used by data engineers right so data factory is um, related to etl like extract transform and load right so etl is out of context because in the question there is no mention of uh, cleansing the data transforming data and uh, so on right so we don't need data factory let's delete it we'll move to c c says azure logic apps so uh, if we look logic apps uh, it might be intimating that uh, it's a uh, kind of automation is there but the problem with azure logic apps is that logic apps cannot be used uh, if you look here the this thing cannot be used for managing azure resources which is required by the question again so uh, azure logic apps is wrong we'll move to d and d says azure dev Ta test labs azure dev test labs is focused on creating and managing development and test environments not automating resource deployment let's remove this if we confirm in the official documentation it's mentioned azure automation is an azure service for simplifying cloud management through process automation and here we go with uh, it's mentioned with azure automation you can manage we, this is the keyword right manage database in azure sql database that's what we need let's lock a azure automation as the right answer all right now we got an interesting question uh, and here we need to tackle the situation where a regional outage uh, will happen and what should we do if the company operates azure sql database let's look at option a e says geo replication geo replication ensures data ability during a regional outage by asynchronously replicating data to a secondary region We'll keep it because geo replication is closely related to regional outage. We'll move to B. B says always on ability groups. Always on ability groups is a feature of SQL Server rather than Azure SQL database as required by the question. So wrong answer. Let's move to option C. C says failover cluster instance. Failover cluster instance is used for high ability within the same region and not across different region. We'll remove it. We'll move to D. this is backup and restore backup and restore only provides point in time recovery not real time ability in case of a regional outage will reject it if you look at the official documentation it's mentioned active geo replication is designed by a business continuity solution active geo replication lets you perform quick disaster recovery of individual databases if there is a regional disaster or a large scale outage That's what we require. This is the architecture diagram of it, like primary logical server, 
uh, how the Geo replication happens. Uh, this will uh, be primary uh, when uh, the in case of regional disaster, the, this primary will go down and the secondary will become primary. That that kind of thing. Like uh, currently, the secondary is blurred out, right? Because uh, uh, the primary is active, which is this one, right? When uh, if the region goes down, this will be uh, it, uh, this should be active, right? And uh, this should be blurred out then, uh, like zapped out. Uh, in short so uh, you can uh, go through this documentation for more information because uh, there's a illustration of geo redundant how it works right so let's log your application in the interest of time all right now so here we go with uh, the concept of long-term retention with respect to azure sql database what it means so let's look at first option a this is global database replication global database replication deals with disaster recovery and high ability across regions not for um, uh, backup retention as uh, required by the question so uh, we'll reject option a we'll move to b b says retain backups up to 10 years long-term retention known as ltr feature allows to retain backups of azure sql database for compliance and auditing purpose for up to 10 years so this looks good let's keep it we'll move to c c says implement automated tuning suggestions automated tuning is for optimizing database performance not backup retention let's delete it we'll move to d d says manage database security security features focuses on safeguarding the database not uh, re related to like retaining backups what we need as per the equation D is wrong. Let's confirm in the official documentation. If you read the heading, long term retention for Azure SQL uh, database and SQL MI. Long term retention can be configured up to 10 years on backups for Azure SQL database and Azure uh, SQL MI, right? So that's what we need. We'll lock option B as the right choice if you want the PDF version of this course including keyword tricks and hands-on files then please enroll in diamond membership or above by clicking the join button now to unlock this book then please connect and inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique so that i can help you out with the pdf and hands-on file access which you can practice in your uh, azure portal to solidify your theory knowledge also please consider checking out my exclusive management and cyber security courses on udemy by searching cloud guru amit or you can also manually view the url by navigating to udemy.com slash user slash cloud guru amit where you will find tons of courses which will help you to boost your career by understanding the requirements of your manager and their thought processes and the latest demanding courses like generative ai as well so please 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 don't go away